Welcome to Paris, one of the most incredible places in the world. I absolutely love this city, and I'm going to show you a few reasons why. There are tons of great museums in Paris. There's the Louvre, there's the Musée d'Orsay, there's the Rodin Museum. But really, to get great entertainment, you don't even need to go there. You can just walk around the city itself. It's like walking on a movie set everywhere you are. There are bridges and little walkways and paths that connect all the major monuments. There's the amazing sort of gilded statues and fountains, but there's also street art everywhere. You can sort of happen upon someone just playing the violin, playing the organ. They're, they're not even worried about having an audience. Really, there can be crowds around them or no one, and they're just doing it because they love it. Montmartre is on the northern side of Paris. It's like a little village within Paris. It's actually the highest point in all the city. And just on the steps of the Sacre Coeur, you can get an amazing view of the entire city. It can get very crowded at the top, but if you go just behind the Sacre Coeur and kind of explore in the little streets around and kind of behind, you'll find cute cafes and, and really quiet spots. Café culture is huge in Paris. It's like one of the national pastimes. Parisians love just sitting down at a café, having their, their cup of coffee, their glass of wine, and really just relaxing and watching the world. So of course you have the most famous cafés, like Les Deux Magots, where famous French philosophers like Jean-Paul Sartre would come and ride and be inspired. But there are cafes actually everywhere. You can find them on every street tucked away, and it's a great place to just sit down, take a break, and watch the world go by. Along the banks of the Seine, it's sort of a Paris landmark. It's the Bouquiniste, which are little booksellers where you can find everything from old postcards, used and new books, to sort of Paris street signs. Really lots of things and, and nothing at the same time. It's great even to just chat with, with one of the booksellers because they've been there forever and they, they, see, they see everyone who walks by. We're on the Pont des Arts, which is the artist bridge. It's one of the 32 bridges that crosses the Seine in Paris, and it's the most animated bridge of, of all of them. Hello. <laughs> so how long have you been painting on the Pont des Arts? Since a long time. And how did you pick this spot in particular to do your paintings? It's the best studio all over the world. In that way, you can see the French Academy. Mm -hmm. In that way. Lille de la Cité, Notre Dame, in that way, the Louvre Museum, and the Seine River, it's unbelievable. Is it this environment that inspires your paintings? Of course, people pass by, uh -huh. and my imagination make the rest. Why I am doing this bridge? Because they are here, oxygen here. 57 years, always I visit this bridge. Uh, I find my wife too in this bridge. I marry with her two children. Okay. Yeah, that's why I like this bridge. 